and I was like, okay, coach, I see you. <laughs> Hey guys, do me a favor, stop what you're doing and click that subscribe button. I'm really trying to get to 10,000 followers on Instagram. I need you to head over and give me a follow. Thanks in advance. Now on to the video. Hey guys, it's Cece back with another video. And for today's video, we are going to do a review and a little bag spill on the new Coach Tabby 26. I thought I would do a different video today. I posted this beauty on Instagram a few weeks ago and you guys were like, honey, we need to see a review on that bag and <laughs> see what's in my bag and update it what's in my bag. So I just did a work what's in my bag video. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll make sure that video is linked up here. However, I wanted to do a dedicated video for when I'm not at work and I'm just kind of walking around the city what stays in my bag. This is the bag that I have been wearing a lot lately, especially on the weekends, like when me and Mark go on our, we have like a standing Sunday date. And this is the bag that I have been carrying lately. I absolutely love it. So we're gonna do a little review on it and I'll show you guys what all I have in it. I have it filled to the absolute brim because I need to bring everything with me for some reason when I go out, but you guys will see in a second. So this is the Coach Pillow Tabby 26, I believe. This is the largest size that this comes in. It comes in a variety of colors, a pretty green, a pink, an ivory, a black, so many different colors, and the bag retails for $4.95. You can also get the smaller version and that retails for $3.95. So this is what it looks like. Now I will explain about this chain a little later and where I got it from, but this is not the original handle or strap that comes on the bag. So just for detailing, it has like this brassy gold detailing around the sides and of course around the C for coach there. It also has it on the buckle on the inside, which I'll show you when we open the bag. So I feel like this bag is just so beautiful and so classic. And let me tell you, I saw this bag kind of floating around and I was like, what designer made that bag? I need it, it's beautiful. And when I found out it was coach, I was like, coach coach has not been on my radar for years you guys and i was like okay coach i see you like for real i think mark i have like this little coral spring coach crossbody that mark bought me maybe like seven years ago and i still wear that bag and i love it but i haven't seen another coach bag since that i really wanted to buy you know and when i saw this and i saw that it was coach i was like honey Yes, coach, okay, yes. Show the girls who's queen, okay? Because this bag is just everything. So I went out and grabbed it. It was really hard to find the ivory, you guys. I had to go to a few different websites. I finally found this um, at Bloomingdale's. I think I ordered this from Bloomingdale's. So I'll make sure it's linked down below so you guys can check it out as well. But I love this color, but they also have some other fun colors if you're looking for something a little different. So the actual straps that the bag comes with, it comes with a little shoulder strap so you can wear it on your shoulders. This is what comes in the packaging. However, you can also wear the bag as a crossbody because it comes with this longer strap as well, which I absolutely love because now I have, you know, three different bags in one and that's amazing. You know what I'm saying? You're spending all that money on a bag. Now you can wear it different ways and you have ways to make the bag look different and work differently for the different situations that you're in. I've not worn it as a crossbody body yet I've only worn it as a shoulder bag with this little strap right here and also the gold chain that I have on the bag now as far as this gold chain I ended up getting this from Amazon I'll make sure I link that down below as well but this yes from Amazon honey okay it was about 15 bucks and I feel like it just really makes it look like a totally different bag really elevates it to a different style so it's not the exact same gold when I got it. This is more of a gold gold. The brass, if you can tell, is more of like a muted brassy gold. However, unless you're 
like this on my bag, you really can't tell the difference. You honestly can't. And I just think this looks so beautiful and so chic with that gold chain on. It just really amps it up a notch. You know what I'm saying? I love it so much. One con about this gold chain though, if you have a lot of stuff in your bag like me and you're holding it for a long time on your shoulder, that chain can start to dig into your shoulder and it's just not as comfortable as if you would have worn the shoulder strap that it comes with because that's a little padded. So you might want to keep that in mind if you're filling up your purse with a lot of crap like I do. <laughs> but let's jump in to the inside. So again, I have... I have things in here. I'm going to pull everything out and then I'll show you guys the actual inside of the bag once it's empty. And this is all the stuff. Honestly, this is all the stuff that I would carry in this bag. I mostly carry this for, like I said, my date nights and stuff. When I'm just out and about on the town, especially when I'm with the kids, I'm really not carrying a purse. I usually just throw my stuff in MJ's diaper bag or I have a little wristlet. Um, yeah, that's what I do. I don't really carry a purse or and if I'm going to work, I have my big laptop bag. So this is really for like the weekends when I don't have the kids with me and I can actually, you know, feel like a human and look like a human being. So that's what I would wear this for. So think about it in that situation when you see me pull out all my stuff, okay? The first thing I have in here is this sunglass case. And this is just a key Australia sunglass case. There are not sunglasses in here. However, I keep things in here that could spill and ruin the inside of the bag. So I keep my perfume in here. This is the Clean Classic Perfume in Warm Cotton. That stays in this little sunglass case. I keep... Of course, me some hand cream in here, honey. This is the Body Shop Coconut Hand Cream. I love this. This is my hand cream of choice these days. We have an ink pen, because you never know when you're going to need a pen. This is the Uniball Signo 207 pen. I have been on the hunt for like the perfect pen, and I like this. I don't love it, because once you write with it for a little bit, then it starts to lose some of its ink. I don't know. I just don't like the way it performs after you write with it for a minute, so keep that in mind if you're going to purchase these pens, but I'll make sure everything is linked down below so you guys can check out whatever. A tampon because you just never know. Always need a tampon with you. I keep mouthwash with me as well. This is the Crest Scope Mouthwash Classic. And I keep this on me just because you never know. I'm out. I may go to a restaurant. I eat something. Now my breath smells like onions or whatever the case. You don't want that all day. So I always keep some mouthwash so I can go to the bathroom, rinse it real quick, you know. Always be smelling fresh, fresh breath. And then last but not least, I just have some Advil in here because people get on my nerves, they give me headaches, and sometimes I need Advil. I also keep this guy in my purse. This is the Revlon, I think it's called like a roller touch-up ball. And so basically the premise is when you start to get oily, you can just kind of dab dab it on there and it really does soak up all of the oil i love this thing in my purse it's very slim and easy to carry around now normally i wouldn't like stuff like this because it's not the most hygienic to be quite honest to just keep using the same thing i normally like my blotting sheets however i purchased it so i'm going to use it for a few months and then i'll go ahead and put my blotting sheets back in my purse or just a regular powder compact I also keep my AirPods in my purse. These are the AirPod Pros. Now, okay, so I was using a like knockoff version of the AirPod Pros that I got from Amazon, which I'll link the real AirPods as well as the knockoffs in the description box. But what I found with those knockoff AirPod Pros, the more I used them, the more I realized that they would get confused depending on what I was doing. So I have like Apple everything. I have a phone, I have two laptops, I have um, an iPad, I have all this stuff that could connect to these AirPods. And like when I have everything around me, which I do often, the AirPods were like getting confused as to which one to connect to. When I found that the real AirPods, they don't get confused. Whatever device I pick up, that's the device that 
the AirPods will automatically connect to. And I kind of like that ease of co and convenience of use. Now, if I just have my phone with me and I'm out and about, I still have those knockoff AirPods and I will still use them. So keep that in mind, okay? If I'm like in a situation where I feel like, like if I go, go walking or something, I can use those knockoff AirPods and they work just fine. So if you don't care about the AirPods getting confused. I mean, they still connected. They just got confused with which one to connect to and I hated that. So if you don't care about that, get the $30 AirPods. But if you do care about that, I do have the real AirPods. The ease of use is just amazing and the connectivity. The sound quality though is pretty much the same on both AirPods and there's a, like a $200 difference. So you might wanna keep that in mind as well. But I do have these, I have a clear case on them and um, they just kinda of clip to the inside of the purse so I always know where they are. In the middle section, I just keep my GoPro tripod. This is just my little GoPro shorty tripod and just in case I need to set up the camera, obviously I vlog. So I keep the little GoPro on me and it's much easier to keep on me than this is like my everyday vlog camera, my big vlog camera, but the GoPro is really nice for situations where I just don't wanna carry a camera that size around. So the GoPro is just a lot smaller and convenient. And then it has this little tiny baby tripod where I can even set it up and talk and stuff like that. So I keep that in my purse. And then of course I keep the GoPro. This is the GoPro Hero 8, I wanna say. Yeah, I think it's the GoPro Hero 8, and I just love this so much. I have the media mod on the outside of it, so it has a microphone where the sound quality is really good and the picture is really good, and this is just such a great little tool, a great little camera to keep on you if you're a vlogger, even if you just like to record your life, I mean, and you wanna have something for video in your purse, this is so cute and tiny. And then if you take off the media mod, which is the like little outside case piece, it's waterproof and you can go in water and you can do whatever with this camera. It's rugged, it's amazing. I keep my cell phone in the bag. I have the iPhone 12 Pro, which you guys know, and I just keep that in my purse, of course. And then I think we're down to the last thing. We are. The last thing is my wallet. This is my YSL. I don't exactly know what it's called, but it's just a small compact wallet. And I just have like debit cards and license and there's a $50 Ulta gift card in here. And because I'm such a baller, there is three bucks inside of it as well. So <laughs> I'll make sure not to spend that all in one place. So that's what I keep in my bag. So let me show you guys how it looks with nothing in it. This is how it looks with absolutely nothing in the bag. I forgot to show you guys this too. I absolutely love this little coach sign on the side. I just think it's really cute and it just adds something to the bag. I don't know why, I really love that. But anyway, when you open it up, it looks like that. And then to open up the bag, it has three compartments. You have this front compartment, you have this back compartment, compartment and then you have this middle portion and that is a zippered portion that you could definitely zip up if you have something that you want to make sure it doesn't fall out maybe your wallet or something you want to put in there and then zip it up so you can make sure that it's secure you have the little coach label in the back of the purse and that's really it so do i think this bag is worth all of the hype that it's getting I do, I absolutely do. If you want to splurge a little bit and spend a little bit of money on a bag, I would definitely recommend the Coach Tabby. And if you already have an ivory bag or a black bag, like I, I got it in the ivory because I don't have any other ivory handbags like this or shoulder bags like this. I wanted to get it in the green, but I just didn't feel like I would wear it enough. But if you feel like you would wear the green or the pink, I would definitely recommend getting it in a color. I'm almost slightly tempted to go back and just get it in the green. Like 
I don't buy things in color sometimes because I get so afraid that I'm not gonna use it. But I feel like a classic bag like this you could wear for a very long time. And even if you only wear it like three times in the summer or four times this summer, maybe four times next summer, four times the summer after, I feel like you would definitely get your money's worth. And if you have that statement piece, I mean, you don't have to only wear green. So if you get the green, you could have on an all white and put on a statement green bag. You know what I mean? You don't have have to have that color in order to buy that color. I'm kind of trying to talk myself into buying it right now. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like these types of videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also comment down below any other videos that you would like to see on my channel. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.